entropy is much more than just a measure of disorder. In fact, entropy is responsible for the direction of time itself. If we start with a raw egg and drop it on the floor, the egg will shatter and break apart. The egg goes from a well-ordered low entropy state into a disordered high entropy state. However, we don't ever observe a shattered egg spontaneously reconstructing itself. Similarly, a solid ice cube has more structure and order than a warm liquid glass of water. If an ice cube is added to a warm glass of water, the ice cube will melt. Again, we don't ever see a warm glass of water spontaneously heat up and produce ice cubes within. All of these observations are consistent with our universe evolving from a state of lower entropy into a state of higher entropy. We call this the second law of thermodynamics. We can determine the direction of the flow of time by noting how a system evolves from low entropy to higher entropy. But why does our universe move forward in time from low to high entropy? It's ultimately due to statistics. Simply speaking, the particles of a system have a greater probability to distribute themselves in a more varied range of microstates for larger entropies. When entropies are smaller and more organized, it's much more unlikely that the system will be in that state. There are fewer organized low entropy states than disordered high entropy states. If a system is left alone, it will naturally move towards a more varied disordered state. This is the driving force that makes all processes in the universe move forward in one direction in time.